the irrigation with great difficulty because they just get caught on one another and flings off some of the pegs but at least it's going out. working on the Centrica end and on the Scotch Power connection end so fingers crossed let's see how the day goes. What's what does it take to uh, change a light bulb? <laughs> Five vans worth. And two cars. And two cars. Obviously. It's um, exciting. Yeah look at this we've got some new trolleys on the site and they are boo lovely so these are going to be our leafing trolleys eventually so we're going to have like wooden tops on them but for the moment we're gonna we've got a spacer and we're gonna space out and then clip our metal clip on which holds this up and then the co2 hangs from it so anyway what a job got that got the spacing and it's just a case of we can get going now so I think the irrigation is going to be tested next week, sort of under pressure. So the end caps will be going on. We've got to heat them up, get them on, and then that'll be tested. And then literally, we want to try and get it hung up before they fill it with water because we're going to get wet otherwise. So that's the plan. Somebody dropped the bloody box. In well, it is bust. <coughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> There'll be a knack to it. Yeah. See, that's it, but... But you can trap your fingers. I know. <clears throat> so what we've got to do is do that. Right. And the only thing is with this irrigation pipe, it has to go obviously underneath the A-frame, but above, above the brackets. So we just had to make sure there's enough gap either side so it doesn't kink it. There you go. Whoa, whoa, we were. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what a vision. Wow. Okay. Yes, we've got two on this one. And yeah, one point six on here. Let's go, boys. Good morning all, I thought I'd um, show you what I was up to today and a quick update on the tomato plants. Currently in block six, which is a cocktail, which is like a new variety. I, we maybe have grown this variety once before, we've grown cocktail before, but this is where we're up to. So we have got yellow and, I don't know if you can hear them, but we have bees. Here we are. So what we've been up to, obviously they've grown a bit. So we've had them a couple of weeks now and yesterday we planted them which means so we keep the cube here uh, just until we see the first crack of yellow because what happens is when you plant on here the roots will take over and then the tomato plant will have steam it will just want to grow so what we do is we wait until we see the first crack of yellow so it remembers that it has to grow tomatoes because otherwise if you plant too early it can just 
keep growing and forget about what it's doing. So that's what we tend to do. So we hold them back, we keep them on here, we keep the drips in so they get watered still and it just runs down the side. And then we plant them. And then Christopher, just yesterday, has filled up these bags right up to the top to make sure everything's wet. Um, gives the roots something to grab into. And then I come along today and I'm poking a hole in here to let go of the water. Well, feed, water, whatever it is. So what I do is I've got my little peg. Usually what we do is we cut the whole slab, but because there's so much water in here, the trough won't cope and I've already had spillages everywhere. So we just come in and I just poke it. Oh, like this. And then we'll come back later on this week, just buys a bit of time as well. And we cut right along the bottom just to let any water out because if the roots sit in water, it can sort of not be great for the plants. I'm not entirely sure what happens, but we don't do that. So um, this is, yeah, this is where we're up to. So we've got some little yellow flowers. So now that we've planted them, they are gonna grow like mad. They're just gonna absolutely shoot up. So we have already hung our second bobbin. So if you look up here, we've got these two spare bobbins. So uh, depending on the density of the variety, you'll either hang two bobbins or one. In here, it's two, one, two, one. Um, in the Returno, it's one, 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 one. In the Piccolo, it's two, one, two, one. So we'll end up with like seven or, yeah, seven heads of bag. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so three heads on one side, four heads on the other. That's how this works. And right, this is how we do it. So we take a shoot here and we let him grow. And this main string that we originally clipped down here, we twist up the shoot. So it goes up the main stem. And then when it comes to the shoot that's fully developed, we go up the shoot, which kind of tilts him over. So he will eventually go like this and that string will follow up that shoot there where my finger is. And then this, we will come round and clip to the main stem there. And then you just keep twisting. And then you end up with like, the shoot becomes a main, not a main plant, but so it's always a little bit behind on the main stem. Like it's always never got as much power, but you'll end up with like one, two, and then like on this bag, three, four on this side. So you'd have four heads. And on the other side, we would have three. So that means you're getting seven trusses a week out of this one, out of this lot, if that makes sense. <laughs> and here on our farm, we always twist clockwise, so that will eventually go up there like that. And then, yeah, this one clips to here. And then as they grow up, they'll sort of separate a bit. Sometimes we have to swap the bobbins over, just depending on how the plant is positioned. But yeah, that's kind of how we get the party started in here and all the other greenhouses. Wise, wise, wires. Finishing up the electrics. Okay, um, Oh, so they have to set tension on it. So there'll be a, a drop. We fitted all the furniture as well. Thanks to Carlos for that one. And I don't think you can see, but we've like folded it up and siliconed it in here so that it doesn't drip back out, which is nice. Obviously, all the irrigation is hung up, which we're just going to leave down and it's going to be flush this week. And then the electrics are just going to be signed off. And the screen wires are very nearly done. And then we'll just have to, after next week, I think, Cambridge are going to take all their stuff away, their cabins and whatnot. And then we will fog it. We're going to fog it. Disinfect it all. 
but we'll only do that when we're sure like no one's coming back. See, that's nice and warm. My goodness, what a moment. This means we're nearly done. Yes! Got a bit of a tidy up over here as well. We've got rid of the old stems and we've had a bit of a scrape. Hole has been filled. Everything's connected and look at that. Two beautiful little hens doing their thing. Love to see that. Alright folks. It could almost spin round there, couldn't it? We are just tying back these heating pipes here because we've fitted these support arms because on the outside wall, the weight of the plants pulls the trough and it twists the trough. So what we're going to do is we're going to fit that support and then push this back and connect it to that support so then it doesn't twist it. So it just means that we've got to get these heating pipes out of the way. So we've got some Victor Shane and this is the situation just to hold them back, give us some more room, slide that back on. So 